in terms of it. Top man. Thanks, Darren. Cheers, Al. Thank you. Hi, Darren. Uh, Darren, you mentioned there the romance there of the FA Cup, but given the current climate that professional football clubs in the lower tiers find themselves at the moment, how important is it financially lucrative to get on a run maybe in the FA Cup and maybe draw a big team like a Liverpool or a Manchester United in terms of the resources and what uh, an injection of funds could do for a club like Sheffield Wednesday? And that's and that's the wonderful thing, Jim, about the FA Cup is that for the certainly for the lower league clubs, you know, as you progress through the rounds, um, the excitement and the ambition are there from the players and the fans to to potentially try and reach through to the third round where these uh, bigger clubs will come into come into play, um, and that's the beauty of the FA Cup. Uh, it's straight knockout uh, football. Uh, it presents different uh, teams at different levels against each other and the beauty of the FA Cup as you know Jim it just it surprises everybody and that's why everybody loves it so much but also from the financial point of view it's wonderful that when you get rounds you get the TV there you, you get the knockout competition and as you, as you progress through the rounds the financial gains for the lower league clubs is absolutely huge you're talking a good cup run can can set up some um, lower league clubs for the next season or two seasons, you know, just by having a a, a cup run because the financial rewards are so great. So I would imagine all of us in these first couple of rounds, rounds one and two, will certainly be looking to gain access and get through to that third round and 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 progress from there and and see what what can be done uh, in terms of going forward. Um, so yeah, the the appetite's there for us all uh, to try and progress. And it's a hectic season, obviously, we know the amount of games that are involved in uh, League One as well. And I suppose management of senior players, obviously, is a priority. You've 16 games played so far in League One. Barry Bannon has started in 15 of them uh, and he's got a goal as well. A player like Barry, in terms of that, he's so pivotal for you in terms of the league as well. Is it? Are these opportunities where the Barry can sit out and maybe someone else can have an opportunity or is he such a critical aspect of you, uh, your team in terms of a cup run that you still need Barry Bannon at the wheel? No, I think, I think the, one, the one thing, irrespective of the age of the players, they all want to play, Jim, every single one of them want to play um, and never not any game is deemed a lesser game than the other one. They all want to play. They all want to compete to get in the team. And whatever that's the case, uh, that's great because, um, you know, we, we, we look on the game on Sunday as a very serious game in terms of where we are. And the squad are all vying to, to want to get selected to play. Um, the job is to look at the state and the condition of the team. And then we, 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 we assess after tomorrow's training session, providing we don't get any knocks or anything in the training, then we go from there. But if you're looking at Barry as a... And that, as an isolated figure, because you've mentioned his name, he'll want to play um, every single game uh, this season and, and um, starting certainly again with Sunday. And finally, for me, Darren, uh, just on an Irish player there of note, uh, Olamide Shadibo, he's on loan for me from uh, Queen's Park Rangers. He's nine starts so far. He's played for the Irish team under age, uh, under 21. How has his loan gone for you so far? Are you happy with uh, his uh, development uh, in terms of your wellness so far? You're probably disappointed. He's probably disappointed he has notched one or two goals. But have you seen attributes there that you've liked uh, and you uh, are you feel that it's a loan that could it's positive for Sheffield Wednesday going forward that there could be a potential to maybe to make a tournament? Yeah, we want, we want to, it's been a, a mixed um, loan experience at the moment only because um, he started the campaign off in pre-season then he picked up the injury just before the, the start of the season which kept him out for probably six or seven weeks really. So it kind of like blotted his... his um, him continuing that really and then he's come back in and um he showed he's shown like you know a steadily progress like but the whole team has so in terms of him now he's ready now we feel he's we've got him to a point as well where he's physically in a better position now and he's just looking for the opportunity now Jim in terms of going forward and we do believe in him he's a goal scoring player um he's proven that uh, and he carries a goal threat and as I said, you know, we've, we've got him at our disposal in terms of when we see fit to use him and him stepping in and, and, and trying to 
continue where he picked up that form at the start of the season and go and, and take it forward. And he's got that ability in him. So we're hopeful that, you know, when he gets in next, uh, he's ready, he's, he's in a better place, he's conditioned for it. Uh, and I'm certainly sure for him that he'll want to get into those attacking positions and be creative and get assists and, and score goals for the team. And if we can get him in those areas for the team, then it bodes well for me, Dave, and it certainly bodes well for, for us here at Sheffield Wednesday. Cheers, Darren. Best of luck, mate. Thanks, Jim.